Well, conditions certainly are not good here on I-135 and I-70 in Salina. This Greyhound bus still in the median here on I-135 after it slid off. City streets snow-packed, of course, as well, and uh, things very slow going uh, this morning as well. We're going to send it back to you, Jamel, for right now, but try to, you know, why don't we stay with it here? Looks like we're going to maybe get the bus out of the median. Kicks Phil White continues our team coverage with a look at the conditions if you're traveling north, right, Phil? It's just been tough to get around all day, clear back to early this morning. If you'll take a look at this video, this bus slid into the median on northbound I-135 just south of I-70 and was there for a little bit more than an hour before a tow truck was able to pull it out and get the bus and its passengers on, on their way. Uh, the passengers, none of them were hurt. We can see uh, we're, uh, we've got some more slide-offs coming up ahead of us if we come back here live to Salina. There have been relatively few accidents and slide-offs today, but certainly we can see that there are some. We've got a tow truck here uh, helping this motorist to getting this car back up on the roadway. To have you know a package for four, possibly a package for five, package for six. <laughs> we got it. It's only two forty-five. It's only two forty-five. We have to have this done in the can by four. We're just fine. Well, Susan, as everyone heard Jay mention, 11 inches officially have fallen here in the Salina so far today. And those roads, as Larry was talking about, have been snow-packed all day. That, of course, has had the Kansas Highway Patrol urging people to stay home if they can today. But, of course, some people have jobs that don't have that option. It was exciting to come back. There's a lot of wrecks out through there. It's, uh, it's rough. Truck driver Galen Reinhardt does not mean his drive back to Minneapolis, Kansas was exciting in a good way. He was concerned about making sure his rig didn't become one of the many to slide off I-70. The Kansas Highway Patrol has been urging Kansans to stay home if they can, but some have no choice but to drive. That's why KDOT crews are now working around the clock. And until this storm is finished, Reinhardt also urges everyone to stay home, or at least be careful. If you're heading east, it's getting bad. There are three truck stops in this area, but the lots are entirely full. And you can see as you look down 9th Street here, just how many trucks had to pull off. This line was even longer earlier this morning and last night. 9th Street was lined by big rigs all night. The three truck stops at that Interstate 70 exit were full as truckers pulled off the highway to let the winter storm pass. Rodney Olivas cut his trip from Ray, Colorado to Kansas City short because the road conditions were so dangerous. They were really bad. I could have kept going, but I kept seeing uh, 18 wheelers in the ditch, cars in the ditch, cars pulling trailers in the ditch, and uh, it was getting to where I was almost hitting these vehicles. Highways are still snow packed and slick. Kansas Highway Patrol Trooper Ben Gardner expects another busy day. Our troopers are working the roads looking for any type of abandoned vehicles that need to be tagged and to make sure that there's no occupants in them. Once they're tagged after 48 hours, they could be removed by state law by a law enforcement officer at our request. There have been relatively few accidents or stranded motorists. Gardner says that likely means many people heeded the warnings to stay home. The roads are now safe enough that most truckers have continued on their journeys. Olivas headed on for Kansas City early. Uh, I'd rather not, but I gotta go. <laughs> and the safety factor on the highways in Kansas certainly continuing to improve now that the storm has moved on. Areas near Salina were among the hardest hit of the winter blast. Cakesville White was there all day yesterday, and residents began digging out today from the nearly foot of snow that fell on that city. The winter storm moved on during the night, leaving behind a foot of snow in some parts of north central and northeast Kansas. But some had to brave sub-zero wind chills to go ahead and start digging out. Brian Long cleared the sidewalk in front of his business a couple of times Tuesday. He was right back on the sidewalk in front of Longshot Enterprises shoveling again this morning. 
It's still not quite business as usual. I have had probably half of our staff call in saying they were going to be late. And of course, if schools are closed, daycares are closed, so we have a lot of people coming in late or not making it. Long was not alone. Across Salina, people spent the day digging out either by shovel or by snowblower. Among them, Dennis Gress and his boss. Well, between me and him, we got probably 30 places to do. Gress made enough headway to head back indoors by about noon. Long says there's no use in complaining about the cold and the snow. Mother Nature makes things difficult sometimes for us, but that's all right. We keep plugging away. The sunshine combined with salt put down by road crews made it a lot easier to get around as the day went on. In Salina, Phil White, Cake News.